Welcome, friends, to another episode of Baby Storytime with Longmont Public Library. My name is Claire. I have a sloth friend here today to be my demo baby and help us sing and bounce and have fun. I like to start with a hello song. It goes like this. We've got to get both of our hands out. Give them a good shake. Baby, stretch your fingers out. Make them dance. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your shoulders. Nice. We're going to wave hello now that we're kind of warmed up. It goes like this. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. We also clap hello. We clap hello like this. We clap hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we clap hello like this. Yay, good job, friends. I like to do open shut them next. Give the fingers a stretching. Oh, my fingers feel stiff today, maybe because it's a little chilly out. But oh, it feels good to stretch them. So let's do an extra stretch for open shut them. It goes like this. Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Did you let them in? I hope not. Good job. We have some stories today about books, numbers, and colors, and the alphabet. And we're going to start with One Big Salad, a delicious cooking book. It's by Juana Medina, and there's some fun, healthy, yummy treats in this book. I'm going to need your help counting. It's going to be a yummy salad. might make me hungry for a big bowl of salad. One big salad. Ooh, one of my favorite foods. One avocado deer. <laughs> Avocados are so yummy. Two radish mice. One, two. What comes after two? Three pepper monkeys. Let's count them. One, two, three peppers. Peppers are yummy too. So are radishes and avocados. Mmm, this is gonna be a good salad. Four carrot horses. Let's count to four together. One, two, three, four. Good counting, friends. What comes after four? One, two, three, four. Dun, 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 dun. Five. Ooh, five tomato turtles. Let's count the tomato turtles. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, I like those purple tomatoes. And the yellow tomatoes, and the red tomatoes. Mm, green tomatoes. Six cucumber alligators. Can we count to six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Next is seven radicchio lions. It's kind of like a bitter lettuce that's yummy. Look at those radicchio lions. Can we count to seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. What comes after seven? Eight. Eight flying walnuts. Oh, look at the walnut birds. That's pretty cute. Let's count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Nine romaine dogs. Do you know what romaine is? It's a kind of lettuce. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine romaine dogs. And 
then we have 10, 10 Clementine kitties. Let's count those Clementine kitties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Nice job. Are they gonna all go in a salad together? <gasps> we have one big delicious salad. Mmm, all those tasty treats. Yum. The end. Oh, and they've got some dressing and some salt and pepper and lemon and oil. It gives you a whole little recipe for a, res for a dressing, salad dressing in the back. That's pretty cool. The end. Should we do, since that book was about food and our next book is about food and the ABCs, should we sing the wheels on the food truck? We haven't done that song for a while. It's a lot like the wheels on the bus. Will you help me sing it? We'll start with the wheels. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. And I said bus, I meant food truck. <gasps> Rewind. Let's start again. We're doing the wheels on the food truck. Okay. Whew. The wheels on the food truck go round and round, round and round, round and round. Can you go round and round? The wheels on the food truck go round and round all through the town. The wipers, there's still wipers on the food truck. The wipers on the food truck go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the food truck go swish, swish, swish all through the town. Okay, we've got to have some food on our food truck. Should we put some avocados from like our book uh, on the food truck? I think we should. Okay, what will the avocados be doing? They will be turning green because we want avocados to be green when we eat them. Okay, the avocados on the food truck are turning green, turning green. Turning green, the avocados on the food truck are turning green all through the town. Okay, let's put some potatoes to smash potatoes on our food truck. That's fun. The potatoes on the food truck go smash, 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 smash. The potatoes on the food truck go smash, smash, smash all through the town. How about some bananas to peel? The bananas on the food truck go peel, 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 peel. The bananas on the food truck go peel, 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 all through the town. We have to have some babies to eat all that awesome food. Ready, babies? The babies on the food, food truck go yippee, 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 yippee. The babies on the food truck go yippee, yippee, yippee all through the town. Yay! And Sloth will be on the food truck too. Sloth probably likes to eat leaves. All right, that brings us to our next book, which is by the same author as the previous book, Juana Medina. And she's an artist too. She does the, uh, the pictures and photographs in the books too that are really cool. This one's called ABC Pasta, an entertaining alphabet. Who likes pasta out there? <gasps> Me, I eat pasta almost every day. <laughs> it's, I'd probably say my favorite food. ABC Pasta. A is for angel hair acrobats. B is for basil balancing ballerinas. C is for campanelle clowns. My apologies to the Italians out there. I'm going to mess up the pasta names. I will do my best. D is for dactylini daredevils. And E, oh, I really like these kinds of noodles. Egg noodle equal wrists. <laughs> they look like tightrope walkers. Mmm, egg noodles, yum. Next comes F for fettuccine fire eaters. And G is for gemelli gymnasts. 
H is for herb hoops. Mm, those are pretty. I is for invincible Intrigale Ingrid. Those look like spiral twisty noodles. J comes next with jumbo shell jugglers. <laughs> K is for kale pasta knife thrower. Ooh. What comes after K? L is for linguini leotard Lois. And M is for macaroni the magician. Yum, macaroni. Gotta have the cheese too. N is for Nero del Sepia Nets. Mmm, those look good. O is for Orzo Orchestra. P is for Pecorino and Parmigiano. Parma oh my goodness. Parmigiano plate spinners. Those are cheeses. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Q is for Quick Quentin Quadrucci. And R is for Rigatoni Ringmaster. S is for Spaghetti Spectators. T is for Tortellini Trapeze Trio. Mm, yummy tortellinis. Let's see. U is for Alluvio Unicycler. V is for Vermicelli Vanishing Act. It's kind of like angel hair, pasta-ish kind of. W is for Wonder Wagon Wheels. And X is for Extraordinary Xavier the Xylophonist with X Pasta. And Y is for yolkless pasta yodelers. Hmm. And Z is for zestful zipliner ZD. Mm, ZD's good too. And oh, there's there's one more little bit. Acrobats, ballerinas, clowns, and more. They're all there to celebrate. And then it gives you a pasta recipe in the back. That's pretty cool. I like that. Makes me hungry for pasta and a salad. <laughs> Let's, should we try to sing our ABCs? Because we just learned all the ABCs of pastas? Let's try. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? I know earlier on in COVID times when I was first doing virtual story time, I think I promised the audience that I was going to learn how to sign an ASL the whole alphabet. And I kind of got it down and then I didn't do it and now I've forgotten it again. So maybe that'll be a goal for me for 2021 to learn the A, B, C's in ASL. There's some good YouTube videos about it. All right. We have another numbers book here. It's a newer book that Stephanie, librarian Stephanie found at the library for me and I thought it was really cute. The big bunny ears. It's called From One to Ten, and it's by Mies von Holt. And I'm going to need your help counting again. From one to ten. One belly. Where's your belly? Can you rub your belly? I get to rub the bear's belly. Yeah. Two ears. Where are your ears? One ear. Two ears. There's the bunny ears. One ear. Two ears. Three spots. One, two, three. Four wings. Ooh, on the, it looks like a lightning bug or firefly.
butterfly. Let's count her wings. One, two, three, four. Can you flap your wings like a firefly? You might flap them really quickly. Five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Six legs. Can we count to six again? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a funny creature. Seven stripes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight arms on the octopus. Let's count the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine teeth on the crocodile. Let's count the teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's a lot of teeth. How many teeth do you have out there, babies? Do you have nine teeth yet? And finally, ten. Ten whiskers. Let's count the whiskers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whiskers. I don't know if you heard, but Sheldon, my cat, did a little meow for us at story time a few minutes ago. He has probably more than 10 whiskers. He has a lot of whiskers. And that's the end. And it tells a little information about the importance of learning to count. Uh, the grown-ups can read. It gives young children confidence. And the following activities can help them with numbers. We heard a couple activities are help your child point to each image and count like when you're reading a book or when you're looking at things at the grocery store or in your house, have fun just counting random things. Ask your child to find one belly, two ears, three spots that are freckles on their own body um, or on family members, pets and toys. Um, that's also a good way. You can also use a mirror to count other parts like fingers and toes and eyes and mouth and teeth. You can find the numbers on the clock or other places around the house. You can make your own counting book using your kids' drawings. Uh, you can make your own picture book. I'd love to see that. Maybe it could be at the library one day. The end. Good job. We have one more book, but before we share our last book, I want to zoom to the moon with you because it wouldn't be baby story time without zooming to the moon. So grown-ups can gather baby up if they feel like it. If they're older kids, they can jump and bounce around. We're going to zoom to the moon together. It goes like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. We've got to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Let's go again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. All right, one final time to the moon together. We'll zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Great job, friends. We'll enjoy our last story on the moon together. It's a very pretty new book called Every Color of Light. And it's written by Hiroshi Asada and it's illustrated by Roji Ara. And it's really beautiful. I think this is gonna teach us about colors and weather. Every color of light. Look, it's raining. Is it raining where you are? Pitter patter. Pitter patter, the rain gets louder. Pitter patter, pitter patter, water and wetter, the blues darken, and so do the greens. It's starting to storm. The wind whips, whoosh, and the rain slants. Heavier and heavier, the rain gets louder now. Love the sound of the rain. Ooh, there's a cracking and a crashing and a thunder roars. Boom, ba, 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 boom. Boom, ba, 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 boom. 
inevitably lightning strikes, crash, and colors run across the leaves and swirl on the wind. Whoosh, swish, swash, swish, swash, all the sounds. And just as quickly, it's over. Look, no more rain. It's a little bit dark. There it gets lighter. Shimmering light fills the sky. The blues are blue again, and the greens are green. Slowly, the air clears. And slowly, all becomes bright. Sun's out. Raindrops drip from the leaves, sparkling like crystals. They fall to the ground. A little sun shower. Settling, setting the light turns evening, everything golden. In the evening, usually it's golden. So let's read that again. Setting, the light turns everything golden. Smiling, stilling, and smiling, the water shines silver. So we've got silver water and a setting golden light. A beautiful evening spreads across the sky. Look at that sunset, sort of like a Colorado sunset over the mountains. It settles over the mountaintops. There you are, white moon. Where's the moon? Do you see the moon? There's the moon. It's almost full. I see, and you, first star I see tonight. I think I see the first star over here. The birds return home as shadows darken beneath the trees. Falling night fills the sky and flickering the scars begin to sparkle. Can you twinkle, sparkle the stars? Ooh, look at that night sky. After the rain, the sky is full of stars. Shining, they share their stories. If you look really closely, the stars look like different shapes of different types of things. Like I see a phone, I see a horse, a bell, a bunny, a leaf, a butterfly, a saxophone. <laughs> what do the stars look like in your sky? Good night, spirit of rain glowing in the sky. The bunnies hop into the bright white moon. Big moon. And there are the bunnies. We're all falling, falling soundly, soundly, asleep, asleep. good bedtime book. That's the end. That's a beautiful book. It's worth checking out and looking at the paintings closer because it is very beautiful. Every color of light. Put it on the hold at the library today. <laughs> All right, that brings us to the end of our story time. Thank you, friends, for joining us for another virtual baby story time. Give yourself a big round of applause. <clears throat> and I hope you'll sing the goodbye song with me. It's a lot like the hello song. It goes like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with all our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. I like to end with a full body wave so we can stretch it out. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with all our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. Thanks friends, we'll see you next time. Take care and be safe, stay well, and keep reading. Bye.